Thanks for tuning in and welcome to the brush. On today's episode, we're gonna be doing some spring turkey hunting. It's the second day of the spring turkey season here in Michigan. In today's episode, we're gonna get into some hot and heavy action. We actually get a bird on the ground, so it's something you won't wanna miss. It's early in the morning we get out there. We don't have a bird roosted yet, but we go to a spot where we know we've seen turkeys and we get on a real hot bird. So we get set up, this bird's gobbling at every call that we're making, so I ended up going quiet, wanted to see what he, he would do, and then I hear some other hunters calling off in the distance. And then about 10, 15 minutes later, this happened. He died. After those guys got that bird right in front of us, we decided just to walk around the chunk of public land we were already on and walk through the trails and call, see if we could strike anything up.
after walking through that chunk of public and not striking anything up, we started to drive around to other chunks. And as we were driving to another chunk of public land, we drove by this private field. And there was a couple big gobblers in it and we couldn't even coax a gobble out of them. And usually we can. So with the weather being like 30 degrees and it was snowing at one point, I don't think they're very fired up, but we're still out there giving it our best shot. So we got to another public land parking lot. We're getting out there and it's closer to a road. So we we're waiting for the cars to move by so that we could hear if anything responded and right before we even called some turkeys gobbled right in front of us we instantly went back to the truck got our gun and all of our stuff and started to head in there and try to get this turkey now we knew this area very well from previous years hunting this and I'll link a video right here my dad actually did the same thing he stalked in there on a turkey so we were gonna try to repeat that so we were about halfway through the swamp probably a hundred yards from this ridge now and we really wanted to coax a gobble out of this guy so we could know where he was at just to see what position we were in and if we could get any closer to him or not. And we let some calls out and he didn't respond so we decided just to keep pushing. Go, let's go. Stinking go! Oh my! Oh shit! Silent gobbler! Oh my! He's, I didn't know he's there, dude. I just looked. Up, he was motionless, standing really? there. Really? It looked like a, a log at first. I'm like, holy shit, that's him! Could have you shot him or no? No, I couldn't turn. Dude, that was so perfect. Just foot right up, yelped. Boom! Did you hear me? Just I didn't. I said, I said, what did he say? And Justin said he's right there. He was right there. Holy crap. 
<laughs> he didn't even gobble. He just nope. was coming to look. Yep. Oh my god. <clears throat> he even had the uh, wherewithal to go. And he, he put his he put his head yep. up, didn't he? I was like, come on, shoot! I was watching him, like, shoot, shoot. I had to wait for him to clear these trees. So I had my gun down, and as soon as he went behind the trees, took the safety off and got up and ready. And then you see all those branches right in front on that other that spruce. Yeah. I had to wait for him to hit an opening, uh, and then I had to sink down in my seat a little bit. I had to sink down a little bit, yell, and he stood right up. Dude, that was go. That's how you do it, man. I knew oh, we could do dude. that one. Let's Where'd go. That <laughs> for some reason, they really weren't gobbling. We were just we got to the parking lot, walked on the trail a little bit, and we were just sitting there about to call, and we heard him gobbling here. And on our way in. We've done this before. My dad shot one over there, and in preseason, me and my dad actually came up to these spruces and called two gobblers into here, just like this. And we got to like probably 150 yards from this spot, and they hadn't gobbled yet, and it took us a while to get to there, and we were like, kind of want to make them gobble. So we yelped, and I hooted, and screeched, and nothing made them gobble. So we're like, well, just got to keep going. We got up to the edge of these spruces right through the swamp, and I just, I just called, no response, no nothing. I'm sitting there and I hear my dad say, here he comes. And I had no clue, man. He said to the right and I finally spotted him, waited for him to clear through these two trees. Once he got behind the trees, put my gun up, took the safety off. And as soon as he got in an opening, I yelped at him, stuck his head up and the rest is history. Dude, that is so insane. I bet we got within like 60 yards of that thing, stalking it. It was probably it sitting was right there. Here. It was in here, he had to be. All those freaking little green leaves kept going squeak. I know. Every stick, I was like, yeah, there's no way oh this is gonna work. God. He's definitely just a nice little two year old. But these turkeys were not talking, man. It's cold. We saw it's that whole flock in that guy's field over yeah. there and they wouldn't even, wouldn't even make a peep. Second day of the season. What time is it right now? 11.30. 11.30, midday. He wasn't talking, but he was coming to look because I called and he's looking for us for sure, but he wasn't going to make a peep. There it is. Second day of season. Definitely like a two-year-old bird. He's not the, not the biggest, but man, this is one of my better feeling ones. Last few years, we've been getting it done on opening day and I felt a little more pressure with a short season this year, usually only having one weekend there to get it done with work and school and all that and i'm really glad we got it done as you guys could see this morning we were on one that was absolutely just hammering and there must have been there was obviously some other guys on the other side of them and they ended up getting him right off roost but we stuck with it stopped at the grocery store grabbed, grabbed some <laughs> cinnamon rolls and stuff got fueled up came back out here got him on the ground I had to try to keep the well, mood positive there. There's another silent gobbler for you. No gobbles on him either. I can't believe I just spotted him right there. You, pro you probably like cracked your pants when you saw him. I didn't know what to do. I thought, man, is he's too close. I can't say anything. Yeah. I was not, I was pointing that direction. Mm -hmm. There was no way I'm I was I'm glad I was kind of facing this way already. Yep. You guys made it this far. You might as well hit that subscribe button. This is a really cool hunt. Might not seem the coolest with no gobbles and stuff, but we definitely worked hard. Last two days going at it, scouting for probably a month before this, figuring out where all the birds were. And it was quite the hunt, man. It was really sweet. So, made it this far, might as well subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys next time.